Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Webster. One of the things I like about Mintex is it its ability to use site workflows and make those site workflows available on a page by simply utilizing the start site workflow web part. So I'm going to show you a simple example of this. What I have here is an orders workbench, greatly simplified for the purpose of this demonstration. But you could also think of this process as being part of uh, one of your own processes, such as an expense approval system, perhaps. You have a number of items to be approved. You want to be able to update them all in one go, rather than update them all at once. So in this simple workbench here, I have a number of order items. These happen to be work orders. And I'm using Nintex forms on the right-hand side of the screen to, uh, to show the order details. Now, as a manager, I'd like to have a look over this list and mark all of these items up in one go without having to, add, uh, without having to edit each item independently. So I have three buttons on the form here. If I click on any of these buttons, the status of the items will be updated. So this is very simple functionality. As you can see, it's updated all of the list items in one shot using just one workflow action. So I'd like to show you, take you behind the scenes, and you can see how this functionality was built. So if we go to manage our site workflows, we can take a look at our workflow. And there we are. Very simple. Well, that functionality was delivered with just one workflow action. This action we've configured, it's updating multiple items. We've configured it to look at our orders list, which sits on SharePoint. And we're asking it to update the status of all items on that list with a value which we've assigned to a variable. This variable, text status, we've been able to create inside our workflow as a simple single line of text variable. Very easy to set up, no code required. The other important thing to take note of here is being a site workflow, you do have a start, a, a start form which can be used to trigger off the workflow. This is accessible through the edit start form and edit with Nintex forms. So in the example I've shown you, I've basically just added three buttons onto the start form and if we look at the configuration of each button, we can see that in the advanced tab, I've set the connected to property to point to the workflow variable which I had earlier created in the workflow, text status. I can then assign a piece of text so that whenever this button is, is clicked, this value will be assigned to that workflow variable. So each of these three buttons has the same action in the advanced section, and they're just simply assigning different values to the text status variable. So when the workflow runs, it will update all of the items in the list with the workflow variable. Now, it's actually a piece of cake to put the start form onto the page because Nintex provides a web part which is available from your Nintex web parts under the form section. And what you need to do is just add the start site workflow web part to your page and set it to point to your site workflow. I hope you've enjoyed that quick tip and thank you very much for your time.